Hello everyone, now uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be discussing about CloudWatch and specific composite alarms, which is the combination of two or more standard alarms. So let's go ahead and start. So to redirect to this particular dashboard, select the services. In the services, you can select the management and governance. Here you can see there is a CloudWatch, which is monitor resource and applications. So coming to the definition of uh, CloudWatch, CloudWatch allows user to collect and track various operational data, such as logs, metrics, and events from these AWS resources and applications. So CloudWatch provides insights into system performances, helps troubleshooting, and enables users to uh, set up alarms for uh, automated responses to certain conditions, ensuring that the health and st uh, stability of this AWS env environment. So this is the uh, definition according to the docs. So we have uh, redirected to this particular CloudWatch. So click all alarms. So right now we don't have any alarms. So let's go ahead and create one. So in the previous video, we have just created the standard alarm. So in this in today's video, we'll be using the composite alarm. So coming to the uh, definition of this composite alarm, a composite alarm in uh, Amazon CloudWatch is a type of alarm that is created by the combining two or more standard alarms using the logical operators such as and, or, or not. So it triggers based on a combination of conditions from the underlying standard alarms, providing a way to create more complex alerting logic. So composite alarms do not have a direct action associated with them, but are used to aggregate and evaluate multiple conditions. So we'll be looking uh, into these composite alarms in just a few seconds. So let's go ahead and create an alarm. So select the metrics and uh, here I'll be using the EC2. So basically we have used the same uh, performance, uh, same you know uh, steps in the previous videos, uh, but that's for the standard. And in this video, we'll be using the composite. So in the previous video, we just used the CPU utilization, but in this case, let's select two. So I'll be using the CPU utilization and you can select the other one, maybe credit balance usage or any other uh, uh, you know metrics. So in this case, let's, uh, select maybe, uh, let's say create balance, okay. So we have selected uh, these two combinations and go to the craft metrics. So we have two combinations. So you can add a math and uh, you can also use the functions, but in this case, I'm not using them. Uh, instead of just uh, start with an empty expression. So in this case, I'll be using uh, M1. So you see uh, the first one utilization, it is represented by M1. The credit balance is represented by M2. So you can use this mathematical expression. So for example, let's say CPU utilization is greater than one. And I'm using an AND condition here. And uh, let's say M2, which is credit balance is uh, let's say less than five. So let's M, oh, just a second. So it's done. So we have created this expression. So for example, if this uh, expression triggers whenever the CPU utilization is greater than one or the credit balance is less than five, we'll be getting an alert, right? So let's uh, select that. So basically we have combined these two, right? So that is where, uh, that is what we call it as composite alarm. So it's done. Let's go to the select uh, metrics and uh, here you can just add one next. And here you can add the alarm. So basically there are three different stages in alarm, okay, and insufficient data. So if that is in your okay states, uh, you don't need an alarm. And the other one is insufficient data, uh, data, which we have already discussed in the previous video. And coming to an alarm, you can create a topic, just add it as uh, alert one and uh, just add your uh, you, uh, you know email ID. Create a topic. So whenever you create it, like uh, there will be a email sent to you, uh, sent to your email ID. So first you have to subscribe it. So only then you can, uh, you know, get these email IDs. So we have also discussed this in the previous video. So do check that out uh, if you have not watched. And uh, that's it. You have created an alert. You just go next and alert name. You can just uh, give it as alert something and you can add the description next and you can create it. So whenever, uh, you know, this expression triggers, you will be, you know, getting the alert and based on that alert, you can uh, you know perform the actions that you need. So you can just create an alarm. So before that, uh, 
uh, in the previous video i also forgot to uh, show you the you know how can we do actions on this instance so let me uh, refresh this and uh, create an alarm again so create alarm select metrics so the same things that we have done before but in this case i'm just using the standard alarm so for example let's use the same cpu utilization or oh, cpu utilization well it's taking time there you go so here i'll be adding my instance id so this is the instance id make sure you do that also because that is a default one oh i think i again uh, smash that just a second copy paste right so we have done this CPU utilization we already got a graph because it was running from uh, a few minutes and we also discussed about this let's go to the next section so whenever uh, you know the cpu utilization is greater than one right we have just uh, mentioned in the previous one where is it there you go so whenever uh, you know it's greater than the threshold whenever it is greater than one we'll be getting that alert so if we go next and we can use the sns and uh, if there is an alert you can you know use ac2 actions so for example if there is cpu utilization is greater than one you can stop uh, the instance you can terminate the instance or reboot the instance so you can perform these operations as well whenever uh, there is an alert triggered so just wanted to show you this one as well so yep coming to this video i hope you guys understood the concept of uh, composite alarms and standard alarms if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and please share the video thanks everyone